Yo, what well, go on internet? Got Linux there. So, got a new hard drive. Has a lot more storage space. It's one terabyte. And my ThinkPad T440S has 250 gigs by default. I want to swap out that 250 gig SSD with this one terabyte SSD. Uh, the one terabyte SSD is a Western Digital model SSD. I do not know what the internal SSD is currently inside of this thing pad but i'm willing to bet it might be like a toshiba or something <laughs> I'm, I'm probably wrong uh that said this video just gonna be swapping out those hard drives uh but before doing so we are going to back up the home directory so that when i make that switch over to the new hard drive i'll be able to carry my files over now there are a bunch of different ways that you can migrate your data over to a new hard drive uh, one preferred method for most people is to just uh, clone uh, the or b basically make an image of their current setup and clone it to the new hard drive unfortunately I don't have any way of how, how, how would I put it I guess connecting both SSDs at the same time to this ThinkPad and I'm sure that there may be a way that I'm unaware of maybe using an external hard drive or something but I, I'm good I just need the home directory because I don't have too much stuff here anyway I'm not losing too much so I am using an external hard drive that's 1.5 terabytes in volume. You can see that guy over here. And I will be backing up my home directory in this hard drive here because this is my backup um, external. So let's go through the process of backing up here. And then once we back up, we'll then move on to taking the ThinkPad apart, adding in the new SSD, installing Zubuntu 20.04, and then putting the home directory back in its rightful place. Let's go. First things first, you want to open up your terminal and go directly into the root of your external hard drive. And then from here, you're going to create a tar file. So tar Z C V F. Now, this allows you to compress the home directory. So we're going to go tar Z C V F. And um, we're going to name this one, let's call it backup home.tar.gz. And then the particular directory we want is home and then Kai Linux. And then we're going to hit the enter key and watch what happens. All right. So as you can see over here on the left side, well, obviously the terminal is going through, uh, it's starting the compression process or going through that process. But over here on the left, you can actually see the size of this um, tar file getting pretty big. Uh, I'm curious to see. I'm thinking it might be bare minimum 10 gigs, I think, but we'll see. Let's see how it plays out. Um, so we'll be right back once this is done. And here we have the Lenovo ThinkPad T440S. And here's a little hack for you guys. If you happen to be somewhere where you don't have access to a tripod, if you've got one of those mounts for your car, for your uh, phone to be used as a GPS, take that device, attach your phone to it. And just stick it to like a mic stand or a fan. I, I attached this thing to a couple different things over here um, to get some of this footage. And it worked like a charm. So just a little hack for you. So we're going to disconnect the ThinkPad from its power source. And find a nice clean table to lay it down on so we can get some work done. Next thing you want to do is uh, boot in the BIOS. And then once you're here, you want to go to your config under power. And then you want to disable your built-in battery. We don't want to have any uh, shortages while we're um, inside the ThinkPad. So the system will power down once you hit yes. So hit yes and power down. After that, you want to flip the ThinkPad over and then disconnect the external battery. And just rest that to the side. You don't need it right now. Come back to that guy later. 
After that, you don't have to do this part, but if you have a SIM card built into your ThinkPad, if you have one added, um, you can just use a paper clip or whatever little pin you have to get the SIM card out. I didn't have a SIM card inside, but I just wanted to demonstrate. Um, this is the toolkit I got for the ThinkPad um, to take things apart. Got it from Best Buy for like 16 bucks or something. And it, and it came in handy. <laughs> it's very useful, particularly that particularly that little knife on the side there, little prying tool is perfect. Unscrew all eight screws, and then use a little prying tool to just get the bottom part of the shell lifted up. Got to like kind of pry it off of some of those clips. Here, you want to disconnect the internal batteries on um, power source just to be safe. And then unscrew your SSD, the old one, lift it out and then swap it with your new one terabyte SSD. Hold on to this little chassis because you're gonna need it. And it was a Kensington, thought it was a, thought it was gonna be a Toshiba, but I was surprised. This is the Western Digital one terabyte SATA SSD. We're just gonna attach the chassis here so we can mount it into the ThinkPad. All right, so sliding the SSD into the slot, screwing it back in. Make sure it's in there tight, won't be pulled out, and we should be all good. Reattach the power source to the internal battery, and then screw your case right back on. Make sure you put your tools away. You know, clean up, clean up your space. It's always a good idea. All right, so now we reattach the ThinkPad to its power source, and here I have Zubuntu Core 20.04 on this little PNY 16 gig flash drive. You only need about a gig to get Zubuntu Core installed, um, but I just happen to have this one available. Pop that into the USB input. And then the machine should automatically boot into the flash drive because uh, you don't have an OS on the on the system yet. You just put in a blank SSD, so <laughs> it has nothing else to boot into. And then here you just follow your normal prompts that you would when installing a Linux OS or a Linux distro, whichever distro you choose. Again, I'm going with Zubuntu Core. Nice and lightweight. We're gonna erase the already erased disk. <laughs> and as you can see here, one terabyte. So we are, we're home. That Kensington was, I think, 240 gigs. Thought it was 250, but it was actually 240. All right, new SSD is installed. We've got, all right, and there we go. 916 gigs, so just shy of a terabyte. And the Kensington SSD I had in there prior was only 240 gigs. Thought that the Kensington SSD would have been a Toshiba, but turns out I was wrong. So <laughs> glad I didn't place any bets on that. Now we're going to extract the home directory that I backed up into this new home directory here on Zubuntu Core 20.04. If you want a light version, a, li a lighter weight version of Zubuntu, I recommend checking out Zubuntu Core. So first and foremost, what we want to do is jump into the external hard drive where we save the backup. And here it is, backuphome.tar.gz or gz, depending on uh, your pronunciation. And I'm just going to open a terminal in here, and then we're just going to move, the, we're going to not move, but copy this um, to the home directory. You don't have to do that. You could just extract the um, tar.gz file. Um, into the directory from here, but I just 
I don't know. I, I, I don't trust this for some reason. Like, I'm worried that things are going to lock up because it's an external hard drive on a relatively underpowered laptop. But it could just be my paranoia. So anyway, let's move this thing. So we're going to copy backuphome.tar.gz and we're going to move it to, eh, we'll just move it to the root of our home directory. So that's going to do its thing for a bit. All right, so it's done. It's copied over. So let's check the home directory. There it is. It's right here. All right, so we're going to extract it in home, and it should overwrite any of the matching directories and files here. All right, so let's run the command required in order to do so. Where are we right now? We are present working directory we are currently in home so we should be good to go to just extract this right here so let's give it a shot and see what happens all right it's gonna do its thing for a while so let's let this play out and then we'll come back when it's done all right so I rebooted and it appears that nothing's changed except one thing a home directory has been created inside of my home directory. So clearly um, I didn't perform the extraction correctly. I probably should have extracted the contents. Um, see, I don't know if I would have done it here, like in root. I feel like that would have been a bad idea. Um, yeah, just, yeah, I, that would have been a bad call. Um, but not a, not a big deal. You can simply just get everything and just cut and paste it's not a not a major loss oh wait um so some files on my dot files are obviously going to be hidden right there you go so not everything was captured um so now we can grab everything cut and paste so cut and here paste and then we'll just replace all let it do its thing so this is going to take some time. <laughs> Yet another process. Let's let this finish out and then we'll come back to it. And we're back. And after just installing a few of the applications that I had prior to the wipe, um, things are back to normal. We had a few hiccups, one being the uh, home directory within the home directory, right? <laughs> That's my bad. Um, but again, a simple cut and paste solves that problem with, with no issues. Quick is, you know, quick and dirty way of resolving that issue and um, getting all those old files in the locations where they're supposed to be. All of my settings from my previous setup are all working. So I just needed to install, again, the applications necessary like D menu and i3, um, as well as nitrogen for my backgrounds. Um, and I'm good to go very very pleased so yeah that is the way in which you can update your ssd or upgrade your ssd on a thinkpad t440s and still keep all of your old files from the old ssd you had in there um transfer over again cloning is another option give that a shot it's a little bit more advanced uh, but it is significantly more effective because it is a direct copy i mean it's a it's a complete clone of the original ssd onto the new one um but i didn't have a way of connecting both ssds to this this thing pad so uh backing up the home directory was the easiest option for me but yeah man i hope that this video is helpful you know um give thanks for tuning in and with all that being said this has been kyle linux and remember no matter what distro you use out of many one linux give thanks Peace.